Okay, so for this part of the workout, you're gonna need a pair of dice. You're gonna take them, roll them, boom. That would equal seven minutes of the next exercise that you're gonna do, which in your case is head cutters. Your goal in seven minutes is to get as many reps as possible in that time frame. For head cutters, you want to make sure you're keeping good squat mechanics and clean mechanics with the single kettlebell. Also, when you get overhead, when you press that bell overhead, we don't want to cheat with our lower back going back to get our hands overhead. You'll notice if this is my end range of motion, I can get my arms overhead by just letting my abs turn off. There is no difference with where my arms end. So I want to make sure I keep my abs tight and squeeze my butt when I press that weight overhead so that the weight is directly over my shoulders, my shoulders are over my hips, my hips are over my knees, and my knees are over my ankles. So I'll show you a few reps from the front and a few from the side. Get your bell directly below you. You're going to clean and catch, squat with the bell, press overhead. Back to this position, touch the ground, clean, catch, squat, press. From the side, clean, catch, squat, press. Clean, catch, squat, press. 